Hey friends, it's Mr. Stanley. How are you? It's Friday, April 17th, 2020. So uh, here we are, another week of online learning complete. Uh, it is going to be pretty cold today. It's going to feel more and look more like winter than it is spring, but it is Northeast Ohio and that's what we do. So it's going to be a high of about 38 degrees with a lot of clouds and some snow today. So be outside looking for those snowflakes. We have PE and art today as our specials for our language arts session today. Uh, we have uh, two very quick videos. Um, one video is from Mrs. Bula and she is going to be um, kind of telling you what our next step is going to be and we're going to kind of connect reading with the fairy tales today. So it's going to be her just telling you what to listen for when you hear a read aloud. So the second video is a read aloud in your readers, I'm sorry, in your language arts Google Classroom. Really there isn't hardly any work at all, unless you feel the need to jot down some notes watching the video. But really uh, today is kind of just a listen day. So that's very nice. Today is uh, the, uh, for math, we have a problem string. Um, we have about seven different multiplication problems to complete and turn in. Um, if you want to print out the problem string, take a picture of the problem string and turn that in. Some of you have been doing that, good work. Some of you rather just prefer to type out your answers um, and how you solve them, that's fine too. Okay, so however you feel um, that you can show me your thinking with the problem string, it's fine with me. Um, after that, we have a Writer's Workshop today, and Writer's Workshop is beginning your second fairy tale. So um, I made a little bit of a mistake on your Google form yesterday. I collected a Google form ideas on what you're writing your second fairy tale about, but I forgot to include your name. So I have a bunch of responses with uh, all these kids that told me what they were going to read or I'm sorry, what they're going to write about for their fairy tale and where they like to do their writing. However, I didn't get your name. So I might send out another one next week. Don't worry about that. Um, hopefully I'll be able to guess when I start to see your rough draft. So in your writer's workshop, Google Classroom, I put a new assignment that has fairy tale number two with it. And there is a rough draft spot there for you to turn in. Remember, you can do your fairy tale on a slideshow. You can do your fairy tale on a doc. It's totally up to you. Um, and uh, Or you can write it in your notebook. That's fine. But if you continually and keep on daily or uh, every other day, turn in your drafts and edit them and add some of the things that I'm asking you to do on your Chromebook or your computer and you keep sending them in to me, I can keep on giving you those comments. Um, you do not have to share them with me. Um, sharing them goes to my email, but sometimes it gets lost in my email. I'm looking for your fairy tales in your Google Classroom. There's a little plus button that says add. So if you made your own slide or your own doc, you can add that to the assignment to turn it in. I'll find it. Um, but if you share it with me as well, it's gonna go to my email and then sometimes it gets lost in my email. So please turn in your fairy tale rough drafts in your Google Classroom, that will really help. Okay, so the last thing and probably the most important thing is our Zoom meeting today at 11. When you come into the Zoom meeting today, we have a giant group of kids hopefully coming in so we can all see each other and say hi. I will. Um, have you guys muted so if you have something you'd like to say or a comment to make um, or share something on the screen uh, most of you will be muted most of the time but uh, I will um, if you guys put your hand up in the little the little icon that says you know put your hand up or you want to say something you can either uh, put your hand up in the little icon thing um, and I can unmute you and you can say something to the class uh, kind of like we do at school, right? You know, if everybody all talked at once, we wouldn't be able to hear anything. Or you can use the chat feature if you'd like to talk that way too. Um, so it, it will be uh, awesome. 
And then um, I actually have a couple of other Zoom meetings going on this afternoon uh, after lunchtime. Uh, some of you have answered a question in my classwork classroom about who you'd like to just hang out with. Just hang out, see, talk to, see what's going on. Um, share with some of the things that are going on in your house with some of your friends. Um, if you want to do that, uh, there is a Google question for you in your classwork classroom I posted yesterday. Answer that question. So if there's somebody or a buddy that you or a couple buddies that you want to meet up with and just hang out and talk with, um, I'll be more than glad to set up a Zoom with you. Um, I'll probably be in my office working while I listen to you talk, so I make sure it's appropriate, but I won't be in on the conversation. You guys can just kind of have, it's kind of like having an indoor recess, um, but on a video. So anyway, because um, it's important to see our friends. We really have to have, um, we really have to be able to see our friends. I know we can't always hang out and, and play the way we want, but um, this is kind of our, our new for just a little while. Hopefully you guys all have a great Friday and have a fantastic weekend. Stay warm. Um, yeah, if it snows enough, we can make a couple snowballs. That would be kind of fun. The last one of the day. Do you want to say have a good weekend? Say have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Okay. All right. You guys have a good weekend and we will see you next week. Bye.